Hello and welcome to another Cutters video. In this video, I will teach you how to use your Vim SPC as an OpenWRT router. OpenWRT is an open source Linux operating system. To install OpenWRT, you'll first need to use krescue. Dots.cutters.com contains instructions for burning krescue into an SD card. Select the krescue version appropriate for your Vim SPC model. Then also download a krescue image of OpenWRT. Next, insert an 8GB or larger microSD card into your computer. If you haven't done so already, also download Belena Etcher. Etcher is an app that burns OS images into SD cards. Once installed, open Etcher. Drag the KeyRescue OS image into the app and press flash. Once flashing is complete, remove the SD card from your PC and insert it into your Vim SPC. Connect a keyboard and mouse, HDMI cable and USB-C power. Then press the middle button or function key three times in two seconds to boot KeyRescue. K-Rescue is now booting. Select the Advanced menu. Then select the option Format SD Dump Storage. Once formatted, select Back, then select Power Off. Remove the microSD card from your Vim and insert it into your PC again. This time you'll notice that your microSD card has two partitions, Rescue and Dumps. You'll need to copy the Vimex openwrt.krescue image into the Dumps partition. Remember to safely eject your SD card or else there could be data corruption. Remove the SD card from your PC and insert it into your Vim SPC, then boot KeyRescue again. Select the menu option Image Write to EMMC. Then select the Vimex openwrt.kerescue image in the dumps folder. Let's check the image integrity. It looks okay. Then select install to begin the installation process. Wow, 4 seconds is all it took. Now remove the SD card from your Vim. and then plug in a LAN cable for internet access. Mm -hmm. 
Return to the Kirescu main menu and select Reboot. OpenWRT is now booting. Let's configure your new OpenWRT router. Returning to your PC, you should see a new Wi-Fi network called OpenWRT. Connect to it. Open your web browser and type openwrt-vim into the address bar, then hit enter. The default password of your router is root. Be sure to change it before doing anything else. Next, let's rename your Wi-Fi network and enable WPA security, so your network will no longer be open to everyone. Select Edit, then enter a new eSSID network name. Next, click on Wireless Security and select WPA PSK. This is less secure but ensures compatibility with older devices. Once you're done, click Save. Then click Save and Apply. Open your PC's Wi-Fi selection menu and refresh until you see your new network eSSID being displayed. Your router is all set up. Now you can go and explore the other options of your OpenWRT router. Did you know that you can also administer your OpenWRT router from your smartphone? I'll show you how. Let's run a speed test to see how fast my Vim1 is as a Wi-Fi router. To learn more about OpenWRT and what you can do with this incredibly lightweight Linux operating system, you can visit our forums or the OpenWRT.org guides and documentation. Goodbye and see you next time.